What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel Beast Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, looks like, man, the Harveys was actually having a really good time. Well, the extended part of the Harveys. Now, when I'm saying Harvey, man, it's more like Steve and Marjorie and the extended family, the stepdaughters, have fun. However, Steve's biological twin daughters were actually not filling in for the actual fun. Now, man, Steve's twin daughters, Brandy and Carly, man, now, you already know, man, they had a lot of smoke and a lot of issues with Marjorie because, you know, of course, man, I mean, you know, they stepkids and they probably feel a certain type of way, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know Lori Harvey got a brand new Rolls Royce and them girls got nothing. So I'm, I'm already know they feeling some type of way about Marjorie Harvey. We already know Jim Townsend gave us some information in an interview that Marjorie changed ever since she's been with Steve Harvey. So of course, she probably treat them girls really trash as well. Now apparently, man, Marjorie actually celebrated her birthday in style. In honor of her 55th birthday, Earth Day, she flew almost her entire family to Italy for a special dinner. I mean, real fly, real nice. I mean, who would pass up a trip to go to Italy, you know what I'm saying, for a birthday celebration, all expenses paid. Now, the weird thing about it, man, there was two people that was actually suspiciously absent from the Harvey's family dinner. This is what's being put out during the news, man. It was a family dinner not a one-on-one -on -one dinner not a Lori Harvey dinner not a Marjorie Harvey dinner and Steve Harvey was supposed to be a family dinner but the twins were omitted and the sad thing is not only were they omitted but Diddy was invited to the damn party now come on now how did Diddy get invited but your own kids don't get an invite y'all check out this footage right here man they just posted this on their IG Now, there have been some actual rumors out there, man, indicating that Marjorie and Brandy and Carly, they aren't friends at all. So this could be actually a real reason why the twins decided to skip the whole entire celebration. Now, there's been some information leaked out there, man, saying that the twins and Marjorie have issues. They don't know exactly how serious it is, but there is definitely some issues there. Now, rumor has it, man, the twins want all the smoke with Marjorie, and they feel like Marjorie is definitely taking their father for a whole entire ride. And not the good ride, mind y'all. It's the bad ride. You know what I'm saying? But that actually didn't stop the whole, the rest of the family from out there having fun. They enjoyed themselves in Capri, Italy, and they all was, you know what I'm saying, smiling ear to ear, having a grand old time without his own kids. Now, Steve actually did come out, man. He was indicating last Saturday that he's actually currently on a summer vacation with his wife, Marjorie, and stepdaughter, Lori, and he can't stop thinking about what he has planned going on for the fall. He's basically saying that Sand and Soul Festival is around the corner and Marjorie Harvey's big 55th is opening night. He said, what should I do to set it out right for her and who's gonna come? Now clearly them twins ain't gonna be there cause you already know the twins got smoke 
with Marjorie Harvey and they definitely ain't trying to be a part of that fiasco right there how could you have this big old birthday party for your wife and not invite your kids I mean I'm pretty sure they would love to have been going to Italy and having a good time but you know they treat them like redheaded stepchilds man this definitely is not the first time man that Marjorie has actually excluded Brandy and Carly from Harvey's family outings last Christmas Marjorie created a Harvey family Christmas video and she didn't include Brandy or Carly in it so how are you gonna have a Harvey family video but you omitted to two of the original Harveys two of the OG Harveys you didn't even have them in the video at all now that is some definite shade and how can Steve sit you know stand back and feel like that's okay man for your wife to just omit your kids now mind y'all we don't know all the inner workings of what's going on I mean they, they could be some really mean chicks they could be really rude but at some point man if you're giving all this life advice to people, you're telling people to do this, you're telling the ladies to, you know, act like a lady, you know what I'm saying, think like a man, why aren't your daughters following suit? If the issue is them, now let's just say, y'all, let's just say the issue is them. Why hasn't he sat them down and tried to talk to them and try to get them on one accord in terms of being family? Now, that's definitely some strange stuff going on, man. It does not make sense to me at all. And y'all listening, man, would y'all allow some type of birthday party for one of your spouses and all that and fly out the whole other part of your family but not your spouse's kids? Like, that's kind of foul, man. You know, granted, that's Marjorie's birthday party, and you know what I'm saying? They probably would have drugged Marjorie all up and down the damn coast of Italy. However, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still feel like they should have been included or they could have been like, look, you know, they weren't able to make it or Steve Harvey could have put out something saying like yo they wasn't able to make it because they had other things going on something you just omitting them completely from the birthday party and from Christmas now Christmas is one of the biggest holidays and you're gonna admit your own twin babies man definitely some crazy stuff going on man I don't know what is going on between Steve Harvey and Marjorie man but they're definitely on one now Lori Harvey is definitely included in every single thing but when's the last time y'all seen the other Harvey kids? Not the biological ones, the ones that belong to Jim Townsend. When's the last time y'all actually seen them at any type of event? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's far and few in between that you see the other ones, man. You always see them, Lori. Lori's always, you know what I'm saying? She's the apple of Steve Harvey's eye and the apple of Marjorie Harvey's eye. You know what I'm saying? It's never... It's never like a big family thing going on. And I know them twins feel some type of way. Y'all cannot tell me, man, the twins do not feel some type of way about the whole entire situation. This is definitely crazy, y'all. Now, Steve did previously indicate a few years back, man, that his wife that he actually um, had those twins with, you know what I'm saying? He had to actually leave that situation alone because he had to decide on if he wanted his marriage to work or did he want the fame. Now, in most places, we would call that pretty much selling your damn soul to the devil. So basically, Steve was like, yo, I don't I'm not going to choose in between my family or my career. I'm going to take my career and I'm going to run with it. So at that time, the twins definitely felt some type of way. Now, Steve did actually come out a couple years ago, man. He talked to them and kind of let them know, you know, that he had to actually make a decision. He had to make a decision. Look, I got to leave y'all behind while I go off and make this money and we will figure it out some other type of way. So as the old folks say, man, he went out for that bottle of milk, that glass of milk, that pack of cigarettes and his ass ain't never come back. So I'm pretty sure those daughters feel some type of way, man, because they didn't get that type of father figure coming up. Like Steve shows so much to Lori and he shows to all of Marjorie's kids. He didn't do that for his own children. So of course they feel some type of way. Now, if Marjorie was a great woman, as Steve likes to portray her to be, then I don't see them having an issue because that's like two marriages ago. You know, he was married to Mary after he was married to their mother. So, you know, you're definitely not liking the last wife. And it's because they know, man, they know the chick is in they pop's pocket. They know she be doing them wrong. They know she is savage and she all about hers and hers only. She don't care nothing else about nobody else, man. Definitely feeling bad for them twins, man. Like, they could have had a whole better situation. 
even if you can't go back and fix how they grew up you can at least make it better for their future make them feel included stop making them feel like they don't belong to you bro because it's definitely not a good look they are grown ladies man and i'm pretty sure they got animosity because you know what marjorie as his spouse she has a say so into him having some type of foundation having some type of relationship with his own kids and she don't give a damn bro she all about her and hers only like i said before so yo man y'all let me know how y'all feel about this man make sure you check out my exclusive interview with jim townsend man it is in my video uploads y'all check out marjorie harvey's ex-husband man he sat down with lionel b and told everything and he's definitely got a book coming out man so y'all make sure y'all keep y'all into the street and i will be letting y'all know when that book drops because i'm gonna get the first dibs on that book you know what i'm talking about so man y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the videos share the videos and i'm gonna peep y'all on the next one Holla. and now a brief word from our sponsor Reduce or eliminate the appearance of open cuts, scars, stretch marks, rashes, eczema, and more with X Moisturizer Solution, an all-natural African shea butter with honey and other essential oils. Guaranteed results for skin, hair rejuvenation, beard maintenance, and more. Works great for men and women. Visit xmoisture.com and purchase yours today. Are you looking to buy a car? Are you looking to buy a used car, new car, and get the best price? Well, on Car Marshall's website, all you have to do is click the link in the description down below, type in your zip code right here, and it will connect you to the nearby sellers who will sell you a new car or a used car. It's legit. If you want a car and you don't want to go through the loan process and you want something in your area, click the link in my description down below and check out Car Marshall.